Okay, so what I really love about this is the dinette. I was really excited and surprised to see it come out like this. Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at a upper echelon style of diesel pusher made by one of our favorite manufacturers. This is the 2023 Integra Coach Aspire. Model is 44R. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Aspire and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video today. I am super excited to be taking a look at the king of diesels, Integra Coach, and their Aspire lineup. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everyone! How's it going? It's going wonderful. This this weather is so gorgeous. Um, I think we may even move up here sometime. Andrea, I, I, you know, I'm not sure about you, but I am definitely am. I mean, it, it is nice. <laughs> it is. And Matt, it's been a really long time since we've got to look at an Integra diesel. Yes. So I'm super excited. Yes, Andrea, without further ado, let's begin. Well, first, the reason why we haven't had Integra diesels, we do the Riatas down in Florida, but the Aspires and the Anthems and the Cornerstones, we only sell at the Northern stores. So whenever we can get our hands on it, we're really, really excited. Model is 44R. The actual tip tip length is 44 feet, 11 inches. This is the Integra Coach Aspire. It sits on the Spartan K2 raised rail chassis, independent front suspension. That's the Cummins L9 engine. 450 horsepower, 1,200 pound-feet of torque with the Onan 10,000 generator up front. What that means, Andrea, synopsis. It's going to be one of the best riding Class A diesel pushers in the RV industry. And I had a big beef with Spartan Coach, the last Spartan motorhome that we did. This one doesn't have that issue, so I'm really excited about it. Love, love, love Integra. Look at these LED lights right here. This is mean, this is bad, this is aggressive. We have chrome mirrors on both sides. This is gonna be like a collision mitigation system. Everything about this is gonna have the slide out tray. Everything is fantastic. Huge front windshield and you even have that 360 camera. Super nice. Coming on down here, front bus style doors. Okay, diesel pusher. Frameless windows, of course, throughout this whole motorhome. Uh, we do have a Gerard armless door awning. And you do have the Gerard armless awnings throughout this whole motorhome. It looks fantastic. Right here, you do have the door buttons, uh, keyless entry. Right here's where you fill up your fuel, okay? Integra Coach. I love how they're like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's their headlight design. That is the most important part. And then look at these tires, giant Michelin's. I love those. 315-80R22.5. And Andre, am I missing something? Yes, I'm looking for the cameras. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. I'm like, where are the cameras at? Are, are they, they hiding? Hidden? Yeah, they must be. Cause this does, I mean, you would you would expect cameras on this. It has that 360, you know, vision or whatever, but I just don't see it. I'm like, maybe it's hiding, Matt. Craziness. What the heck's going on here, Andrea? I don't know. Are we missing it? I think we are. We have to be missing it. It's, it don't look like it's in the mirror. There's no way. I was, what about down here? Do, do you think it's like uh, camouflaged or something? I do not know. We will find it a little bit later. Okay. Coming on down. This is neat. Yes. Oh man. It's locked. <laughs> yep. We do have Samsung TV on the outside. Let me get this baby started so we can get these doors open. But look at how smooth it is with no door handles. Very nice. All right, Andrea said she thinks she found the camera right there. I don't think that's it. I I, that, I know that's not it. That is the 360 camera. So we, we are still on the mission to find the side cameras. And we'll definitely figure it out once we're uh, sitting in the cockpit area. But here is the awesome storage. Oh, it's carpeted. Yeah, that's like an Integra thing. Check this out, very nice. More ride slide out tray. And you can access that on the other side as well. We got more storage here. Okay, let's Help see. Help me what you're seeing. 
Uh, yeah, just huge storage. We've got, um, you know, some components over here, electrical outlet. There's your inverter off and on there. I mean, just look, I mean, this storage is pretty good. There's your um, potable water. Potable, potable. And coming down, I'm looking at the tag axle. Yes, tag axle right here, very nice. Right here is where you fill up your DEF. And then here is some more electronical components. Coming around the back, Andrea, right here, we have a door to open up the engine. Nice. Look at that. You just push this and it's easy to get to. It's a diesel pusher, so the engine's in the rear. And with this, it's gonna make it a lot easier to get into and access everything for uh, what you need to do to service the engine. How do you like them, Apple? That's pretty good. I mean, that's awesome. Most diesels do have that, right? But it may not be automatic. Correct, yeah. correct. 10,000 pound hitch, Andre. This motorhome can tow 10,000 pounds. You also have the air compressor right there for like the Air Force One brakes or a stacker trailer. Really, I love I the taillight design. I love the design. red around it. Yes, the taillight design looks good. Also, that Integra lights up there in red. And there is your 360 backup camera there as well. All right, Andrea. Coming around to the other side, we do have a side mount radiator. Very nice. Look at this flush floor slide out. Absolutely beautiful. Paint job is beautiful. So the motorhome's beautiful. Right here, that's where you uh, store your stinky slinky. Here's your wet bay. Look at how nice and organized that is. Very nice. We got a water filtration system, of course. And then you have like a, all your buttons there. Yes. Place right for paper here on towels. Trail. 50 amp power cord on an electric reel. You know we love that. And then right there, Andre, is your Aquahop 400D hydronic heating system. And then Miss Jen, bing, please put all the specifications right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. And then here is the other side of the storage. Yeah. You do have a central vac right there, Dirt Devil. And this is the other side with the Morai tray. Very nice. Oh. And then we have storage on this side as well. Yes, ma'am. Fuel fill up. Yep. And then just a couple little more electronical components there. Well, Andrea, the outside of the Aspire looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. All right. We're gonna get the cargo carrying capacity. 8,242 pounds. Okay, so coming in, all right, so we have the opposing slides and it definitely is going to be, you know, a little bit tighter of a walkway. This table does go down so you can get through easier, as you can see. Um, it opens up a lot more when you start getting into the kitchen and you can definitely open the fridge. I'm coming through and then there is the bunks. Actually, I need to close this door so I can get through. Okay, we have a full bath right there. And then the master bedroom, which looks like you can use the bed with the slide in. We have tons of slides to get open. Andre, we got a lot of slides to get open. While we do that, let's give a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. One, two, are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips, don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Look at this. Both slides open. It is so spacious in here. 
Matt, what are you doing? Okay, Andre, I'm figuring it out. So first and foremost, kudos to Integra Coach and Spartan for coming up with a lot more modern dash area, okay? Now, Andrea, you're actually right. There is no side cameras. But if you look at this, this is, this is what it has. So when you put your blinker on, this is what it's able to see. And then when you put your blinker on, this is what it's able to see. You know what I'm saying? So believe it or not, I almost wonder, and I can't tell you that this way is better or the other way is better, but I can almost promise you this, like that's, that's, it's good. You know what I'm saying? You and then, still see all and then you can see all around, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So I was about to tell you, Andrea, like if it didn't have side blinker cameras, I was going to be like, really like, oh my God. But, um, no, it, I think, I think it's totally fine. I think it looks good. And now I'll try it for the cockpit. So one, it was push button right here. Okay. okay. We have our digital dash, telescoping steering wheel, in, out, up and down. Oop. In, out, up and down, get really comfortable. Right over here, battery boost, gen start, cup holder, wireless phone charger, Allison transmission here. Andrea, I got a power seat right here, so I'm able to get comfortable and adjust it. And then you got some storage there. And then you have all these controls, Andrea. It's like, it's like having a giant iPad. I actually really like it. And truthfully, these cameras, they, they do look really good. Let me show everybody. Like, it's not like it's distorted, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Uh, so I think, I think it looks very, very good. And I love the modern technology with the push button start. Oh. Great job, Spartan. Andrea, how do you feel right there? Um, it's okay, the chair's okay, it's a little firm. It does have a footrest here. They both swivel. Okay. You know, there's a step cover here as well. I mean, if people aren't familiar with diesel pushers, you know, they have these step covers that way, you know, you're not falling in like something I would do. Um, and I noticed like it has a railing here too, which is nice. Okay. And over here when you get in. Yep, just a little bit of support to help get in and out of the motorhome. Um, we also have daytime shades and privacy shades for up front, which is very nice. Uh, I did notice, Matt, I forgot to say, I have a cup holder here and there's like a little control pad, I think. Okay. That you can probably control the lights and things like that. Nice. Here's where uh, I opened the slide ups. Right here, we have a little bit of storage there. Right over here, we do have a Samsung TV. No bunk over the cab, and that's going to give you this extra head space up here, which is very nice. A little bit more storage. And then here, it's your power control center. For those of you who are wondering, it is a one-piece fiberglass roof with three AC units on the roof. Right over here, Andrea, we do have very nice cabinetry above. Integra coach style, high-end diesel motorhome style, okay? Then let's check out these balances. Looks like a wood balance with some sort of cloth pattern on it. Andrea. Denied. Womp, 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 womp. Why are you denying it? It just doesn't belong in here. 10-4. <laughs> We're not going to. We understand. Right here, we do have the Whisper Quiet air conditioning unit. Manual blinds throughout the whole motorhome. Again, daytime blinds and privacy blinds. And then right over here, Andrea, is a very nice... Uh, Tri cushion sofa. We got a little foot ottoman here. There's another foot ottoman under that table. And then right here, Andrea, is a button. That's nice. For the televator. The TV goes all the way up. So when it's down, you have that window. And then when it's up, you have this TV right here, which is very nice. And then check out this dinette. Got a nice sound bar up there, too. <clears throat> yes. Storage right there. Adjustable shelf, and same thing on this side. Yes, very nice. It's a nice table right here, Andrea. Obviously, it drops down to make a bed, but a very small bed. And then this sofa, this dinette is really no bueno, especially for a bunkhouse. But it does look like it extends out. It's very strange. I'm looking at it like, um, is that what it's for? Because it's just very thick right here too. Yeah, she thick. Oh, okay. So that's a seat. Wow. So you have an extra seat there. Yeah. Okay, so it turns into a bigger dinette. So that's a whole different story now. 
for sure. All right, Andrea, show us this beautiful kitchen. Okay, first let's point out this light fixture. It's I think it's really cute. You want me to what? Uh, point out the light fixture. <laughs> <laughs> Over here we have a cabinet with this... Um, what is it? I don't want to say it's carpet. Yeah, it's like carpet. Yeah, it keeps your dishes from breaking and stuff. Over here we have, um, you know, a place for whatever, spices. We have a big window in here with the uh, privacy shade. Solid surface countertop. And I don't know if this is a pull-out peninsula. I don't think it is. But we do have... Wait, is it, Matt? That's a pull-out peninsula, Andre. Where do I get it open? Okay, let me just pull it. There we go. Hey, that's a nice pull-out peninsula. Then we have oh, three drawers. Oh, big drawers. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Still going. And then above here, we have some... A oh, little bit. Very nice. Whirlpool convection microwave. Now look at this, look at this cover. I think I like this because it's not heavy. Mm. We got the two burner induction Furion cooktop. Very nice. And then we got a drawer. Nice. And then we've got the dishwasher. Hey, that's a nice Fisher Percal dishwasher. Over there you have the same thing, like the place for spices. And then above we have more storage. This comes out right here. Yes. Let's see if we have a double sink. Oh, nope. One, one sink, residential style. Very Good. big sink. Good. Um, has the extension, of course. And then, uh, I don't know if that's for sponges or, yep. I think these things are just a waste. Yeah. Yeah. Under here. Oh! Hey! That's a $156 trash can. It sure is. I'm glad they did that. Over here, we got another place for sponges, a cabinet. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm just going to stay over here since I'm this way. This is really cute. Yep. It's all uh, lit up and it has the adjustable shelf. Some more countertop space here. The backsplash is really cute. We've got, oh, that's interesting. Oh, yeah. It's like your little mini bar. And then under here, you have like a little wine fridge. I love it. Nice. Behind me is the. Hey, Art Deco. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Over here we have <clears throat> more storage, probably the pantry, whatever you want to put in there with adjustable oh, yeah. shelves. There's the cushion mat for the dinette. Very nice. And then we've got the residential LG refrigerator and the freezer, you can see. Very nice. And we've got the pantry. Oh man, that is very nice. I love these. Nice, 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 Andrea. Yes, except, hmm, I don't know about that. Yeah, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Andrea, before we continue on, you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. You want to show that real yeah, quick? Yeah, I forgot to show that. Did you guys see these under here? For, I guess for your wine glasses? MSRP on this motorhome here, stock number 283236 is $644,926. Andrea? That is MSRP. Sale price, we have it 33% off to a sale price of $429,995. Andrea, that is a phenomenal price. And Andrea, as great of a price as it is, I think we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. All you gotta do is go to generalrv.com slash Matt's Cash. I'll link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to us and a member of our team will reach out to you and they will get you the absolute best price in America. Andrea, check out, let's check out this bathroom. Okay, this is a full bath. Yeah, so first, here's a nice digital dash. You're able to see exactly that's, what's that's going little, on. Um... What's it called? Control panel. Control panel. <laughs> Able to do the slide outs and everything right here, Andrea. This is a very, very nice feature. Nice pocket door going into this bathroom. Over here, the main bathroom is actually in the middle of the motorhome. We have a very nice shower, Andrea. Teak seat in here, very spacious, very nice. This definitely gets the job done. This is a very nice shower. And then what's going on over here is... A little bit of storage right there. You can see the Firefly system. Nice uh, countertop here and liquefy. Our brand of black tank toilet treatment, guys. 
Go to primepoopposition.com to pick up a bottle or your local general RV. A little bit of storage there. And then storage underneath there. Pour some toilet. <clears throat> Andrea, this is not a prime pooping position. Womp, 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 womp. It is A-OK, -okay, though. We are continuing on because I think the last one is in the rear. So check this out. Here's the bunk beds. I'm loving this. TV right here, bunk bed here, and bunk bed there. Lower bunk beds, right? Oh. And it goes up with the wow, Euro Wow, that's nice. And look at what they added here. They added the rail here. So if you wanted to raise this all the way up, you could, and then use it as a closet. I'm loving that feature. So nice. That was smart. Right over here, Andrea, we do have a very nice king size bed. Pocket door here. Yes, two end tables there with power on both sides. Check to see if there's storage there. Okay, so it looks like underneath the nightstand, we have an electrical outlet. We got some storage. And then above the bed. Yes. Three cabinets above. Yes, and Andrea, how do you like these valances? These are much better than yes, the other they ones. Are. <laughs> yes, they are. We do have a nice headboard there. Very nice bed, and I do love how the bed does not need to be folded in half to get the slide outs in. I like the ceiling fan. Yes, me too. Man, this is a thick old mattress too. And there is um, a little bit, I mean, there's storage on this side yes. and then there's storage on this side. Yes, it's a heavy old thick old mattress. And then right over here, Andrea, we got a little bit of storage right oh. here. Okay, that should be for the bunks, I think. Yeah, for sure. Oh, it goes all the way down too. Wardrobes. Oh no, that's adjustable shelves. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Good over storage here. here. Then we've got, oh, a sound bar in here too. Yeah, very nice. We've got some drawers. Oh yeah. We've got two drawers here. Very nice. Same on the other side. There's a bigger one there. And then this one. All right, Andrea. Now this is what's unique though. Uh, rear bathroom's a half bath. How do you like them apples? I think it's different for sure. But what is this? <gasps> A stackable Whirlpool washer and dryer. Wow. That's great. And over here we have, this is a good wardrobe. Here you go. We got yes. a big closet here. On the other side, you can access it. Yes. And we've got the medicine cabinet. Very nice. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Cute backsplash. See, I like that backsplash. I wish they did that in the kitchen. They did on the one where on, the web yeah, part yeah, is, yeah. but it's like... Should have did it all the way around. We got solid surface countertop in here, of course. We've got drawers on each side. Wow. Got to open all of them. Dang. And then on each side we have this, which okay. is nice. And more storage underneath. Very nice. And more liquefied. liquefied. Easy to drop in pots. Right over here, Andrea. Let's see if. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cabs are here. Andrea, this is a prime poop in position. Ding! Very nice. In more Art Deco. Andrea, this is a big old motor home. It is. And that's it. That's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, it's time we give you three things we love about this motor home and three things we just don't like about it. Andrea, what do we do first? Matt, I want to do three, three things we love about it first. Yeah. Because uh, okay. I got to keep it fresh in my mind. Go ahead. Okay, so what I really love about this is the dinette. I was really excited and surprised to see it come out like this. I think it's cool. You don't see this a lot. It extended it more so you can fit a family here. That's so number one. That's my like. Andrea, like number two? Uh, the kitchen. Yeah. I think the kitchen's pretty well done. It has a lot of counter space. You know, you have all these things. You got the dishwasher, the little mini bar over here. Yep. It's great. Tons of countertop space yeah. and tons of storage in this unit. That's number two. And then number three for me, Andre, is going to be the bunk system. I think it's very smart how it raises up and down. Very cool. It makes it a multi-purpose bunk system. And that's just something that we do like. And here's what I will say. After dissing on the cameras on the outside, I will say after seeing the cameras in the cockpit area, I do like that with the modern Spartan chassis. Well, Andre, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about it. May I go first? Sure. Andrea, I am counteracting this with really? the dinette. I actually do not like this dinette whatsoever. Least favorite dinette in the RV industry. Okay. But here's what I do love. I love how you actually liked it and I don't like it. 
that just gives it a little bit of variety. You know yes. what I'm saying? That's dislike number one. Dislike number two, Andre, is going to be the carpet on yes, the slide that's out. that's what I was going to do. And the carpet in the storage. Yes. Do not like that. Never have liked that. Never will like that. And then to wrap it up, dislike number three, the bathrooms are very small. This is a 45 foot tag axle diesel motorhome. And I'm not, I'm gonna combo that. I'm gonna counter, I'm going to do a dislike based off of our likes. If you back up, please. Andrea, there's too much countertop space and too much storage in this kitchen. Like you don't need a wine fridge and a bunkhouse. You need a bigger bathroom. You might not have needed that either. You don't need that. Because you had the pantry. Right, it's just like, this is great for a couples, but when you have bunk beds, I need a bigger bathroom. Right. Well, Andrea, that's it. That's the review. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're looking to buy this Integra or any Integra coach, please go to generalrv.com slash Matt's I will link it down in the YouTube description below. You guys can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. Please reach out to me, Andrea, and a member of our team will reach back out to you guys and get you guys the absolute best price in America. Andrea? Hey, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things you dislike. Yes. Integra does read the comments. They do watch the videos. So please leave your feedback. We hope you guys are safe and well. Thanks for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.